Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters. All right guys, Steve Fisher's back out at the range in Pascagoula, Mississippi. In this episode, he's gonna talk about ankle guns, what works and what doesn't. Hey everyone, Steve Fisher from Sentinel Concepts here back in Pascagoula, Mississippi at the PD range. And today I'm here to talk to you about backup guns. So for years, the current, you know, the primary trend was to carry a second gun, either in some form or fashion or other, either a pocket or an ankle. Myself, I chose to go to an ankle rig for years and it was often carrying a revolver of some sort. What I found was after numerous hours of wearing it, the bulk and the weight of having that J-frame on my ankle was tiring. So that trend kind of disappeared for quite some time and then Glock with their reintroduction of the 42 and the 43, we're starting to see kind of a resurrection of that trend, myself included. I, I found that the Glock 42 and 380 was an absolutely great gun for me to carry and that's what I do. So understanding that the why is behind carrying a second gun or a backup gun. One, ammunition. It's a spare gun. It's spare ammunition. It is a way to arm a potential family member or friend in case of conflict or some type of threat that appears and we have to have more than one person to help us. Two, my primary gun goes down with a catastrophic malfunction or failure or I simply run out of ammunition. I may have chosen that day to play my cards and what was dealt to me and not carry a spare source of ammunition for the gun, which is silly, but it does happen. So what we need to understand is when carrying that second gun, that backup gun, we need to have one, a good holster. That holster needs to fit to the gun, the gun very well and conform to it to lower the imprint. We also need to understand that that holster needs to fit tight to the body to allow a snag-free draw and employment when pulling up our garments jeans, cargo pants, whatever that case may be, as well as when running. So it has to have good retention features. On top of that, that second gun may become your primary because of where you work. It may be a deeper concealment gun, just so you don't want people to know. Obviously concealed means concealed. So where you are legal to do so, or you feel the need to have that gun on your person, I feel the ankle gun is one of the best resources to keep that gun deeply concealed and it's better than an off-body carry option. When we talk about deploying the ankle gun, we need to understand where and why. Often it's from a seated position. It's more easily reached and grabbed and pulled out of that holster while ripping up on the pant legs or kneeling. The problem with going to a kneeling position and drawing that gun is that it takes away our mobility. So that is an extremely, an extreme situation where we need to have an understanding of that threat and the distance of which it's hitting us or coming at us and the ability to employ that gun with losing that mobility but rapidly accessing it so we're not caught, so to speak, flat-footed and putting ourselves in a position of disadvantage. All right, what you see here is me drawing the secondary gun as the primary. You'll see me step down to a knee, grasp the garment as tight as possible, right below the knee or just above the knee, depending on the type of pants you're wearing, ripping it straight up in one motion, reaching down, grasping this gun, handgun, pulling it out, and then engaging that threat with whatever number of rounds you feel necessary to stop that problem. But remember, you're often limited in the capacity of that smaller gun. As well, you see me transitioning from the primary pistol that either ran out of ammunition or had a catastrophic failure, going to the backup gun and then employing that. And then here you see Charles drawing in a seated position, mimicking either driving or in a restaurant or in an office standpoint. These are all important things to practice on the range before you may actually have to need them to see how your clothes are fitting with a particular rig and gun of choice. So again, remember, it is up to you to prepare for your own personal protection. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Lucid Optics, Bravo Company USA, Nemo Arms, American Tactical, Crisis Application Group, Century Arms, 
Silencer Co. Primary Weapon Systems. Trigicon. Mayflower Research and Consulting. Atlantic Marksman Precision. And Total Ammo.